Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. And in this video we are going to be covering um, part 8 of the Affiliate Marketing for Beginners case study which is going over the final step of the Bing Ads creation process which is budget and bids. And then we're here's a little outline, we're going to cover the daily budget, bid strategy, and then the ad distribution. So in the previous case study video, um, part 7, we went over creating your ads, doing some manual research and manual spying and then getting ideas of what to include in your actual headlines and ad uh, title descriptions, um, getting ideas from the ClickBank sales page, uh, which looks like this. So we covered getting ideas from this and that increases the relevancy of the ad. Um, then we also covered creating the tracking link properly. So you can watch, if you guys missed part seven, you can watch that by clicking that I button up there and watching that before watching this video. So let's dive on in. So the very first thing we're gonna do is daily budget. And we already briefly covered that in the uh, first step, which was $100. Um, the daily budget is totally 100% up to you. If, if you want to operate with a smaller daily budget, I would go down to like anywhere between 15 to $20. I wouldn't go anything less than that because then it's just, you're not getting data fast enough. And if you can afford to spend more, um, I highly recommend that because having a budget of $100 a day is a great way to test out campaigns really fast to see if you're going to be able to get it profitable, to see if the offers have potential having a budget of $100, $100 a day, essentially you're gonna be getting data 10 times faster than someone with a budget of $10 a day. So that is a big thing with affiliate marketing, using paid advertising is uh, budget is king. Um, the more budget you have, the more of an advantage you have. So that's just one thing I wanna throw out there and I'm not saying that if you have a smaller budget you can't be successful with Bing ads, that's just simply not true, you can be. Um, because with Bing you can get very cheap targeted clicks. Okay, so now the bid strategy. How do you want to manage your bids? Um, enhance cost per click, adjust my bid to get more conversions. No, only do that if you have conversion tracking set up. I use manual. So manual bid. So for the ad group, um, the affiliate page keywords, I'm gonna do a bid of 50 cents. When you have a big list of keywords on broad match, you can do anywhere from 30 to 60 cents. That's what I recommend. So I'm just gonna keep it at 50, try to spend this uh, budget as fast as I can. Um, and then the manual research, with that I, the keywords that I have on phrase match, those are gonna be extremely targeted. So I'm gonna bid a buck 50 on that. Um, and then the Bing suggested, I'll go like 60 cents. You know, this is, and uh, it's saying that the estimated monthly clicks are at zero. Um, these are, I've found this never to be very accurate. Obviously it's not accurate if it's showing zero estimated monthly impressions. And this might have something to do with it. Estimation is available only when keywords uh, count is less than a thousand. Maybe because the total amount of keywords in all three of these ad groups is around like 1500, so I'm not getting estimated clicks. That could be the reason, but never rely on the Bing Ads estimation of how many clicks you get. Um, I found them to be very, they're very random. So advanced campaign settings is the last section. So you can go into location and if you have a feeling that Ireland's not gonna perform as well, you can decrease bids, let's say by 50%. Um, I always keep everything, I don't mess with anything until I start getting data. So if I ended up spending 300 bucks throughout the next three days and I spent 150 from clicks on Ireland with no sales, then I would just come in here and decrease by 100% or 90 or whatever. So that's location, um, ad schedule. So if you want your ad to run at certain times, you can mess with that. And then device. So remember, one of the things that we're tracking is device with our tracking link. So we'll be able to see if smartphone, tablet, or desktop is gonna perform the best. And using the same scenario, if I spend 300 bucks on this campaign um, and I see that we spent 200 bucks on mobile phone traffic and we didn't get any sales, I would just decrease that. And if we did get a lot of sales on the desktop, then I would increase the bid to bring up the average position when people are searching on their desktop. So that's device, um, audience ads, you can increase or decrease. I always just leave it um, until I start getting data back. And then where on the internet do you wanna show your ads? All search networks, Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search and syndicated 
search partners. That's what I leave it on because we are tracking network with our fifth parameter and we'll be able to see if owned and operated outperforms uh, syndicated search partners. And if it does, then we could create a separate campaign and only target owned and operated. But I will keep that on all and now I will just click save. And the campaign is created and they're just gonna do a quick policy review of the ads and keywords. Most reviews are completed within one business day. Meanwhile, check out the next steps you can take to optimize your campaign. Got it. So um, hopefully this will get approved uh, pretty fast and start getting some clicks today. Okay, so we covered the daily budget of 100 bucks. Uh, we covered the bid strategy, how to, um, why I choose manual instead of enhanced. Um, and then add distribution, we covered that about how we're gonna test out owned and operated versus syndicated, and then we're gonna come back after we start getting some clicks, start diving into that data, which is so fun to do, um, to start seeing uh, what we're spending money on, what we're wasting money on, and then what aspects of this campaign is the most profitable, That what aspects are bringing in the sales. So that is why we have our tracking link so we can do all that. So that is it for part eight of the case study. So hopefully it gets approved tonight and then I'm gonna let it run this weekend and I'll come back on Monday and hopefully we got some data and hopefully a sale and, and keep in mind, I can't promise you that we're gonna uh, get any sales, but this is how I create my campaigns. So lastly, if you got a lot of value from this case study series so far, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel by smacking that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in about two to three days for part nine of the case study, which is diving into the data. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.